Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again for yet another Mezco 112th video. And today we're going to be checking out the fairly new-ish release, give or take a few months, at a brand new steel box, a man of steel box, I should say, featuring Superman. An iconic Superman wearing the reds, the blues, the capes. It's even got the little swish S curl, right? And if you're looking for Superman all over the box, yeah, he is there in spades, right? Every which way, sporting the costume that I think about with Superman, right down to the iconic S imagery. Now you pull the top off the box tin and you get to see the figure and just a ton of accessories in pure Mezco style. In fact, there's so many accessories, uh, there's two layers to the accessories, right? And before we get started, my Superman came from Entertainment Earth, and if you stick around long enough in the video, I will tell you how you can get 10% off your entire order, plus free shippings to boots with my links down in the description below. So, this is gonna be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the fairly new-ish, straight from Mezco 112th Collective, Superman, the Man of Steel. And of course, while I got all you Kryptonians here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. Now, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So once you get everything out of the tin, which, hey, don't get me wrong, it's a nice tin. A box would have done the same. But at least it keeps the figure all nice and neat. And if you don't want to have everything out, you can store it back in the tin. Now you get a couple accessories, and these are punchy, energy wave, I just knocked your block off, Superman effects, right? And it simply fits over his fists, and you can properly punch old Doomsday right in the jaw, right? Now, you do get some energy blast eye effects, which is totally cool. It's that Cyclops looking vision, right? Very nicely done. I loves it. I think it looks really cool. It fits into the one of the head portraits. I'll show you that in just a few. And you can zap Doomsday. Now, you do get an alternate type of laser heat ray vision, whatever you want to call it. A little bit done differently, but I like that it has two separate blasts so you can properly lobotomize Doomsday, right? For those of you in the know. Now, this is one of my favorite aspects. These are bullet ricochets. They're clear plastic. They're very gummy but they're magnetic and they fit over the S symbol and Superman just enjoys his day and he's like, what's going on? Why are you shooting at me? Lots of hands in this box. You got grippy hands and metal folding hands and flying hands. Uh, they're all very gummy, but they're all very rigid at the same time. So if you want to have stuff to hold, you can definitely do that. Like the Phantom Zone projector. Nice little red ruby plastic piece right there. Nice design overall, very old school Superman. I totally dig that, so you can send Doomsday to the Phantom Zone if you'd like. It's all about Doomsday. You do get the Black Mercy, which is not the first time we've seen the Black Mercy in plastic form, but it is a elegant, probably the best Black Mercy that has been done so far. It's got bendy wire tentacles every which way, so you can properly give your hosts the best of intentions and best of dreams while slowly draining them of their life support, right? For the man who has everything, give him a, a Black Mercy. You can even put the Black Mercy on a different figure. Of course, if you got it off Superman and Batman screwed the pooch on that one. Now, that's not the only alien life form in the box. You get Starro, and that is very cool. It's just a little tiny original looking Starro. It's purple, and it fits over Superman's face, and it just looks awesome. It's simplicity at its finest right there. Absolutely love that. Now you do get this little tray diorama of kryptonite. Multiple kryptonites, not just green anymore. White kryptonite, we all know that kills plant life. Basically, had to look all this up. Well, red kryptonite, well, uh, yeah, that's going to uh, make you weak or cause psychological damage. Blue kryptonite is, of course, essentially green kryptonite for Bizarro, right? How Bizarro is that there is also yellow kryptonite i guess you would say gold kryptonite in this sense which strips kryptonians of their powers and just to kind of show you with the white kryptonite and like all the other kryptonites here the dome comes off and the pieces come off so you can have superman holding the kryptonite or dropping the kryptonite because it burns him just like the green kryptonite which 
I'm going to be honest with you, you only need one. Just the green kryptonite, right? That's the best kryptonite thus far. No sense in messing with a kryptonite classic. Now, you get a ton of extra heads, which I thoroughly enjoy. They're all beautifully painted. They all have a little peg in there. Swap out the heads, easy peasy. Smiling heads, kind of, sort of, I'm getting mad, Superman, right? right? I'm just kind of miffed a little bit. Grit in his teeth. Now nah, you've really angered Superman. He, he's going off on you. Then you have this Cyclops version, which, of course, that's where the heat blasts all plug in. So from this one to the singular blasts, yeah, they pop in easy peasy, and they look really cool. Then you have this version, which took me a second. And I was like, okay, that's the Black Mercy. Like, nobody's home kind of thing. He's just staring off Thousand Miles Stare, right? Or... Maybe he had a, a, an ice breath, right? An ice breath would have been a cool effect piece for this set. This one by far is the best. This is my favorite. It's just really well done and very interesting, right? Especially for the price point of 125. I expect some electronics, but you get your little Mezco key right there, just like a Lego set. Mezco has their own keys, and you're going to flip that switch. It's not always easy to do. You need that key. Now, you pop this out just like so. It does come with the correct batteries, little teeny tiny batteries. Put them face down, flat side up for both. Directions aren't really clear, and you get to see the red underneath, and it simply just fits just like that. So you take your Mezco key, and you switch on the eyes, and that is the coolest thing ever. Not to overuse it, like a Zack Snyder thing where that becomes the epitome of Superman, but laser heat vision, especially with the lights off, that is cool. That is a really cool effect. It's done beautifully. It's simplistic. He is mad. You know that once Superman, in the traditional sense, once he activates the laser vision, he's done everything he can. Now he's just out to get you. Now you do get a fantastic stand. It's a nice, tight armature, right? Keeps the Superman all up in the air, as he should be. He's a flying character. And Superman himself is pretty darn cool. I really like the way this figure came out. Again, at the 125 mark... I would hope that you would see all this stuff, plus a nice cloth cape, plus everything about him is cloth. The entire suit, plastic boots, you have the S, the yellow S on the cape, which is done nice. That's nice to see after a few different sets we've been looking at recently, right? The only gripes, if any, is that the cape is a little cumbersome sometimes. It's nothing that detracts from the figure, I think, but it's a little bit too big. It could have been done maybe in a different way, but you can fold it up, and it looks really good because there's a bendy wire, and it looks very free-flowing when you got him flying around. Now, a lot of people have pointed out that the S-Shield is different from the initial solicitations, and it is. It doesn't have the black outline, but for me... That totally works. I don't really mind it at all. No, I don't think it's a bait and switch. I think Mezco photoshops a lot, and that's the one they put on their solicitations. So you could always return the figure. Don't forget that, or just keep that in mind for later releases. But it's been out long enough. I kind of know what you're getting in the box at this point. But the articulation is nothing mind-blowing. It's everything you've come to expect if you have Mezco figures. So you get plenty of articulation out of them. From the arms, to the elbows, to the waist, to the chest, to the neck, to the head, everything works on this guy. The fabric works really well. I've never had any problems with the fabric stretching or ripping, so that's something that I can offer. I haven't really ever seen anybody rip or tear their costumes either, unless you go at it too much, right? And they specifically tell you in the box... Don't do that. So in all honesty, from top to bottom, this is a beautiful looking Superman figure. He has all the necessary articulation, accessories, and whatnot to really bring this to life on your shelf. And to top it all off, you have a really cool light up electronic Superman head with the flaring red eyes. That's just so cool. That makes this box set. If you were wondering in terms of the scalature for this, now... Usually Mezco's clock in around the 6-inch mark. So they will go with DCUC Classics, kind of, sort of, Marvel Legends, kind of, sort of, with the Ninja Turtles, right, by NECA Toys. But out of these three Superman, the most recent Supermans on my shelf in recent years, everything offers a little bit something different, but I likes them all the same for different reasons. 
The original Superman 1000 McFarlane is not the classic, classic Superman, but it's pretty darn cool. I like the head portrait on that. And you have the Superman vs. Aliens Predators figure, which NECA Toys did a bang-up job on that. That's a great body type, cloth cape. And now with this Mezco figure, from the cape to the articulation to all the different head portraits, he is a little bit of an old school Mego figure brought to life in a six inch action figure form, but I loves it for that. Well now if you've come this far in this video, then obviously you wanted to stick around and know about Entertainment Earth, which is where this particular Mezco Superman came from. So all you do is you go up in the little search bar right there and you type in Mezco and it'll pull up everything either that's in stock or pre-order. You can actually click on little links, which will give you the lists in totality. So for instance, you can get Superman, right? Or hey, maybe you're not a DC fan, maybe you're Marvel, right? They even have the new Indiana Jones Tot figure going up. He looks pretty cool, right? Have somebody doing the rope-a-dope with your uh, Indiana Jones figures, but for the sake of today's video, you can check out the Superman 112 Collective Action figure. He's 125, you get free shipping and because he is in stock, you get 10% off with my links down below. Now, that applies to anything, your entire order. If an item is in stock, you'll get an automatic 10% off with my linkage. You have to spend over 79 now, which is kind of a bummer. It used to be 39 But 79 bucks will give you free shipping as well. So if you order a Mezco figure, yeah, you're you're good to go on both avenues. And uh, if you're not a Mezco fan, or uh, hey, if you're not a Mayfex fan, which they all produce really cool DC Comics figures, you can check out McFarlane too. That's the difference between these uh, companies, is that you're getting a lot for a lot, and you're getting a sometimes decent amount for the price, right? 20 bucks from McFarlane. And like I said, free shipping, use the code FALLFREE79, orders over 79 bucks, should apply it automatically, but just in case. So, I highly recommend Entertainment Earth. I use them myself. Go and check them out if you haven't already. Save some cash. Guarantee you'll find something there that you like. So, that will wrap it up for my look at the fairly brand newish, the Mezco 112 scale Superman, the Man of Steel. Very happy with the way that this figure came out. Of course, nitpicks aside with the cape and whatnot, it's, it's a totally rad figure, totally rad accessories. I love my powers. He articulates well. Again, he's like a little Mego, old school Mego figure, and now he's a full blown action figure, and I loves it. But as always, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Superman. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, just get a fan going when you display this guy, right? Really bring out the Superman. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.